Hello, more than small talk friends. This is Jennifer. Each week, we'll share a little more encouragement as a follow up to our latest episode. Today, I'm sharing some thoughts on how warriors are made through seeking the face of God. The Holy Spirit will always be greater and more powerful than whatever tried to break you. Our hope is found in believing that reaching out to God and seeking His face first will result in rewards for us personally that are worth waiting for. And what we are becoming in the process of waiting and reaching out for Christ is worth the effort it takes to keep going. Pressing and reaching leads us closer to our ultimate goal as believers, which is to be closer to God. The Bible shows us how releasing and forgetting those things behind us, all of the things we can't control, all the missteps that may Make us feel like failures to reach forward to the things ahead is the only success that matters. This is faith, an act of brokenness, reaching out towards Christ to receive the wholeness our soul needs. Reaching out will always be part of our process and act of faith. I know for a fact that my breakthrough began with a stubborn belief that by reaching out to God, I would find him. My persistent reaching was the catalyst I needed not only to experience a breakthrough in my life, but to move beyond the stuck places in my heart and the victim mentality we can all be sucked into. Philippians 3, 12 through 14 says this, Not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Reaching towards Christ and seeking his face is so worth our journey. For some of us, letting go of the past is easier said than done. Maybe you have a mother load of baggage to get over. The truth is we all do. We are all in this together and not alone. But the punk faced devil wants us to isolate and make us believe that for some crazy reason, it's just us, that there is something wrong with us. So we are getting what we deserve. But this is a lie from the fiery pit. It's time to believe the truth in God's word over the lies we find it so much easier to swallow. Each time we let go of something, forgive someone, and ask for the forgiveness that we need, we reach beyond ourselves to receive the grace we all long for. More grace, more love, more power of God flowing through us. The reaching will always be worth it. The state of your heart and soul is worth it. It's time to fight on your behalf and seek God in your broken places instead of us enduring self-inflicted sabotage on our souls. Friends, I'm so glad that you took the time to listen. You can find what I read today in my book, Freedom, The Gutsy Pursuit of Breakthrough. Holly, Susie, and I will be back soon. 